morning. Today we're going to do a rare plant unboxing with a side of Get to Know Me. I started this channel not that long ago and I realized I've never properly introduced myself or who I am or what I do. If you've been following me from Instagram, you obviously know a lot more, but in case you don't, I wanted to make this unboxing just a little bit more engaging and share a little bit about me and show you my new plant. To start off, I have three dogs, which I'm pretty sure I've shown snippets of all three of them in different videos. Blue is our latest rescue. We adopted her officially like September-ish. I am home alone with the dogs today and you're very likely to hear them, like right now. My name is Claudia, by the way, and I am so glad you're here, whether returning or first time. I have new plant mail from Jack's Jungle. You know I love her. I order from her frequently. I'm like a frequent flyer with her. Um, she just has the best plants. I can't speak enough good things and the prices are amazing. And yeah, she's just, it's the best plants. One of my favorite places to order online. And they do the fun weekly live sales, which I just feel like just makes it more personal and it's enjoyable to shop from them. So a little bit about me as I open this plant up is I got into plants um, 2019, 2000, 2017. I bought my very first plant. It's a snake plant and I'll add it on the screen if I can find a photo. It's still very much alive and doing well, uh, but I had that for a long time. And then I decided I wanted to start trying to get into other houseplants. I always wanted a peace lily. I thought that they were just gorgeous. I still do. I think the foliage is just so beautiful. And then they flower, those beautiful white flowers. So I did a lot of research. And when I say a lot, I probably went very much overboard. I went crazy on um, YouTube videos, looking for care, Google, finding people on social media, Instagram that would talk about the plant. And basically that's very first and foremost when I realized that trying to get plant care help online is very confusing. A lot of it's very contradicting. Nonetheless, I decided after a ton of research that I could do it and I bought my very first piece lily so I got my snake plant like June 2017, and then I got my peace lily the following spring. My peace lily is also still very much alive and well. I love her still. She's one of my favorite plants. I think that she'll always hold just a very special and dear spot to me. And after that, I just started getting like really easy plants. So snake plant, ZZ plant. My mom gave me cuttings from her golden pothos. And I was pretty much hanging in there for a while. And then one of my friends started giving me cuttings. She gave me a synapsis exotica, some neon pothos, philodendron micans, and that's kind of when I started venturing into other not your typical super easy plants. But then my husband got me a five foot fiddly fig for my birthday that same year. And that's when things got really interesting. I struggled with the fiddle a lot. Like my birthday is in September, so as soon as the season changed and like daylight hours were much shorter, I started struggling. I would, it would literally keep me up at night. But I often say that fiddle has taught me everything I know about houseplants and I feel like I can figure any of them out just based on my experience with that fiddle. Fast forward to today, I get plant mail on the weekly almost. I recently did a houseplant tour. I have over 100 plants. You can check out that video if you'd like. I'll link it down below. But that's how I got into plants. This came with a heat pack because it has been freezing and this is still like warm. And Jackie is always the sweetest writing just comments on the packaging. So cute. Four 
plants, I was a full-time marketing executive for an international company in fashion. I did that for a very, very, very long time, straight out of college. And it was great for a long time. Truth be told, I wasn't super fulfilled the last couple of years there. And eventually, the Los Angeles office ended up closing. Um, so I said I would take six months off before I looked for another job. And several years later, I haven't found an official, or I should say I haven't found a corporate job again because I really would rather not go back to corporate America if I can help it. So now I do marketing services for different clients and it's mostly remote work, which is great. Every now and then I work on site, which is fine. Uh, but for the most part, I get to work from home, create my own schedule. And after years of such long commutes and long office hours, I can't imagine it any other way. Okay, this is the longest plant unboxing tease I've ever done. So let's just open this. I will say our dog Hunter, he was a working dog and he just retired last week. So he's officially just a pup for us. So we're really excited about that. Um, but I don't know what else to say about me. If there's anything you'd like to know, you can leave it down in the comments below and I'll answer as many of you as I can. I'm so excited. I mean, who isn't excited about plant mail? Oh my gosh, I got a peek and it is everything and more. You ready? Okay, here we go. It is a variegated money tree elbow, so that's why it's got all the white. I've seen other versions of the variegated money tree and they're all beautiful, but this, is everything and more. Oh my gosh, I am, wow. I am beside myself, this is stunning. So these are grafted, which means that the trunk of the tree was basically sliced open and then the variegated plant was placed inside so that the tree now starts growing the variegated plant. But this is basically like an established trunk that was given the variegated plant to continue growing, if that makes sense. I can write a better description on the screen and down um, in the description below so it makes more sense. But I love have you ever seen anything like this oh this is beautiful this is just it's wow I, wow did you see that plant just move it's both my dogs that are underneath me So my plan for this tree is to isolate it for two weeks, as I do with new plants, and then it's going to live in my greenhouse cabinet because I want to give it a lot of humidity so that it can keep holding on to all of that white. And in case you don't know, it's super common for the white variegation to brown when it's not getting the best light conditions or when humidity is not high enough for it because it's not providing any energy for the plant, so it's the first thing the plant dumps. So I'd like to try to get ahead of that and just right away just put it in my cabinet and give it all the light and humidity. Currently my cabinet is hanging out in like the 75 to 80% humidity, which is perfect.
A little bit more on this money tree way felt so confident to get it is that I have two other money trees. One's pretty small, but one's huge. I got it when it was about three feet tall and it's over six feet tall now in just about two years-ish if that, or maybe just shy under two years. And I find them both super, super easy. So I imagine the variegated version is very similar with the addition of it needs more light and it needs more humidity to be able to hold on to the white variegation that it has. But I just think it's stunning. I am so, so excited to have this plant. Thank you so much for watching today. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you aren't already, hope you'll subscribe so you can be notified when I upload new videos. If there's any other questions you'd like me to answer, don't hesitate to leave them down below and I'll see you super soon. Thank you.